What's going on guys? Stefan here from App Stuff and welcome to the Swift Fundamentals coding course where you're gonna be embarking on an exciting journey on learning the fundamentals of the Swift programming language. This course is gonna equip you with the essential skills and knowledge necessary to develop powerful and elegant applications using Apple's Swift programming language. Before we dive into the world of Swift, let's make sure you have everything you need to get started. So first and foremost, you are going to need an Apple computer. Swift, which is the language we're gonna be writing our code in and learning our fundamentals with, is developed by Apple and it's designed to primarily work with Apple devices, Mac OS, iOS, tvOS, all of that stuff. So you're gonna need some sort of Apple computer before we get started. Next, you are going to need an application called Xcode. So this is what's known as our integrated development environment or IDE, which is just a fancy way of saying that's the place we're gonna write, debug and test all of our code. So lucky for us, it's available for free on the Mac App Store. So we're gonna go over how to download that now and then we're gonna open Xcode up and get it all set up before we start with our coding modules. So go ahead and open up your App Store app on your Apple computer, guys, and we're gonna go up to the search bar here, and we are gonna search for Xcode. And you're just gonna hit enter, and we are gonna select this option here, uh, the one that says developer tools, and we can just click on that. And you guys are gonna wanna just go ahead and download this. It is gonna take you a little bit of time to get this downloaded and installed on your computer. So while that downloads, just go ahead and pause the video and come back when it's finished so we can go over how to get Xcode set up so that we can start coding. So once that finishes downloading, guys, you should see an option to open that up. And if you don't, Xcode should be located in your applications folder um, if you go to Finder. So once you get that open, uh, you should be presented with a window that looks something like this. So we are gonna click on this create new project option. So let's go ahead and just click on that there and then you should see a window that looks something like this. So we um, are not gonna be selecting an iOS app that is gonna come later in the app development fundamentals course. We are gonna just go over to this other tab right here and select this empty option and then we are going to hit next and I'm going to call this like fundamentals bootcamp and go ahead and hit next and then just hit create guys uh, you could add that to any sort of project directory that you want and this is what xcode will look like now don't worry about anything that you see here what i want us to do is start by going over to this menu on the left hand side and we're going to be creating our first coding file that we're going to pick up with in the next video to get started with actually writing some code so on your project name in this little left side menu here, you can just right click on that and then say new file, guys. And we are gonna go up to this filter bar and we're gonna select or search for blank and we're gonna select this option as a blank playground. Hit next and we're gonna call this guy variables. Hit create and that should create a blank file for you that looks like this. You should see this import UI kit and var greeting equals hello playground. Don't worry about what those things are right now. But uh, first thing I wanna do guys is customize our editor a little bit. And when I say editor, I mean this whole area where we can type code into. So this is currently in light mode and I strongly prefer using dark mode. So you can go up to Xcode up at the top here in your toolbar go to settings and you guys should go over to the themes option that you see here and you guys will be able to see that you'll be able to select from a bunch of different uh, themes. So I'm gonna select presentation dark and that's just because it's the largest font size and it's in dark mode. So go ahead and select whichever option you guys prefer. You might prefer light mode, I personally prefer dark mode. And that's gonna wrap it up for our project setup, guys. It was super easy and we're actually ready to get started with writing code and learning the fundamentals of So we'll see you guys there. I'm excited to get started. Let's go. Peace.